Okay, here we are a week out from my first off-roading experience with the G-Class and I have to do this video real quick, the unboxing of my lighting system for the G because it's going to be an off uh, out um, nighttime. It's going to be a nighttime experience. So I need some lights uh, aftermarket lighting and I'm going to go with these rigid 360 series lights up front on the grill and then some lights over here that are some cheap ones for the back because I needed some chase lighting so they're gonna have like emergency lighting up top hanging off the gutters in the back and it will also give me access for backing up because if you watch my other videos you can see that the G class is tinted out and you at night you can really not see behind you or to your side you really just have to go off of experience when driving it. So right now I will dive into the Switch Pro unboxing. And yes, I've already opened some of this. Normally my unboxings are live first action, but I had to make sure everything was right. And I kind of drug my feet on unboxing this because I've had this for about a week and a half and I needed to, uh, we actually went over everything last weekend. And then I had to take the truck into the shop because that engine problem is still lingering, but I had to, I got it from the shop so we could put the lighting on because it's week out and then the engine will be fixed this week. Okay, so let's dive in. First off is the Switch Pro kit, the SP9100, 9100. It's an eight panel switch and it will be running a couple lights and in the future I plan on putting some other stuff onto it. Now first off when you open the box you see this big wire which looks like it will be uh, to the panel, the switch panel. And This is a very nice panel. It is lightweight but heavier than you would think. It's high quality if you can hear this. So this, this, this is high quality. I would recommend this. It may seem expensive, but when it comes to wiring, especially with um, higher end vehicles like the Mercedes, you don't want to be wiring into the switch, the factory switches. That it's just not right. So my installer, Sam, I will tag him below. He recommended this and I, so far I'm happy with the quality. We'll see how it works. So this is the eight panel switch. I am not completely sure how it works, but once it's set up, I will show you. It's high quality. Even this wiring is high quality. You get this wire, the plugs in here. This will go under the hood. Hear this. This is high quality. This isn't gonna, this will not, short circuit, which I have had vehicles in the past where the electrical system was a mess, the Mitsubishi, but I, uh, I did not want to go that route with the, with the g -Wet. Some covers. He had me order some extra clips. So this is, these are for disconnecting parts I will be disconnecting um, Easy Connect in case I want to disconnect the lights on the gutter, these lights on the gutter. So I have these disconnected and some sleeving for the wiring. So he had me order that. Comes with this back panel for mounting this under the, under the hood. Even this is really high quality. This is heavier than you think. This is, will not short circuit. You have the instructions. You have the labels in the box. So I will probably go with, I don't know. That's not really up to me because Sam will decide, will decide what, um, what goes where. But if you want to see the labels, 
I will show you the labels. Let me put this over here. Ooh, don't want to be rough with it. I'll put this over here and the labels that come with it are these. So if you want a quick look at all the labels, there, you have a quick, quick look at all the labels. Let me put those back in there. And you have the read before installing. I don't have to read this, but it has the instructions. You'll get some if you need to, so I won't show all of that on the screen. Uh, some more packaging, some wiring for, uh, you know, just for everything. The power cables, and this is a legitimate, like, a legitimate power cable. This will not put your vehicle in danger. You installed right this, even, even it even has a fuse here. Installing this right, you will not have to worry about an electrical fire. It comes with some, some sleeving, but again, I have some extra. I bought some extra afterwards. And uh, some other connections. I don't have to worry about where all that goes because I'm not installing it. Thankfully, I was going to, but I'd rather him install it because um, he knows what he's doing. He's installed G multiple systems on Jeeps and I've seen his work and it's good. I'll tag him below. He has his own YouTube channel and it's really well done if you like the DIY do-it-yourself sort of channels. So here you go. That is the Switch Pros kit. I can't close the box because I already went through it and whatnot. Okay, so this is the exciting part. The Rigid 360 series 6-inch. Now, there aren't a lot of videos on the 6-inch round lights because these are fairly new. I think they came out in 2018, 2019, I'm not sure. But this is my first dive into the aftermarket lighting system. It was between this and the LP6s from, um, I forget that company's name, but the LP6s are like top of the top. That's what you want to go for. But if you don't want to spend this for half the price, and this is still, a pretty um high priced for in the market but well not high price this is for your for your money this is the best but you can always go to the lp6 lp9s and those are really expensive i didn't want to spend that much and i sort of like the design of these so this is a box it will come sealed i already opened it obviously i explained that there's a dimensions if you want to see the dimensions all this it comes gives you all this information hope that's the right one I wanted to go with a amber backlight and these are the drive series which I think come also come with a spot so let's open this up and as you see you come first you see the mountain mounting brackets which um, I'm gonna put on the front bar and I don't know what's in here but I did order some these came yesterday and yes so I'm going to mount on the front I'm gonna mount on the front and go there so I had to order these separately I got this from Amazon it comes rubber so it won't damage the front if you like to remove your lights after your off-roading I'm gonna keep mine on because I think these are street legal but don't don't quote me on that because they probably aren't but I will take the ticket 
for um, use because I live I live in the rural areas and I don't want to hit deer. They pop out everywhere and these lights will help. So here we go. These are the lights. And they are heavy. They have some weight to it, not extremely heavy, but got some weight. And they're not as amber as I thought. It almost looks like white lighting. And I hope it's the right one, but I'm not sure. I know I ordered the amber. And if you can hear. The only real plastic part that doesn't feel the highest of quality is the side here. Not sure, I'm not too familiar with lighting, so that's probably necessary, don't know. But the rest of it, besides the side parts, just straight metal. This has weight. And this is removable, so if I could see this getting damaged. A good stone going into it could probably damage it, but you can easily get a new cover. Unscrew these. And those are the wires. And there's a box back here. I'm not sure. Another look at the light. I'll give it a look. It's a pretty nice light. Let me leave this out so I will go outside and show you how one will look on a truck and where I'm putting it. And it comes with two stickers. I'll probably keep those. Put those up, up here. Stick those and stuff. Make sure there's not... Yeah. And found the instructions. Let's see, I hope my address isn't in there. I can cut that out. And that's it for that. The other one is in there, same style. 360 series. All right. Alright, and I know my driveway's a little messy, but if you look right here, I plan on putting the light there, and then the other one there, and that should be able to, that should be able to, right there, and right there. That will look good. And compared to the size of the headlight, it's about the same. So it will look like that from the side angle. Okay, back to the unboxing. I took a little break and I started screwing around, moving around. And okay, so ooh, these are the inexpensive, like $30, I think, lights that I just generic, I ordered off of, um, Amazon, eBay, who knows? And no, I'm not afraid to just get generic stuff from the internet. I bought the W140 over there off of eBay and the G-Class off of Facebook Marketplace. So <laughs> I don't, um, I just be taking risk. These will be bright, brights in the middle ember um, flashing or solid in um, on the sides I'm gonna put them on the rear I'm gonna gutter mount them so like somehow don't have to worry about it because that is all um, the installers to worry about I am not installing, but we have a problem. 
I am missing a mount. But anyways, got these. One mount, unless I dropped it. Could have messed up somewhere. That's disappointing. But anyways, these will be quick connect in the back.